world. So, in today's video, um, I will be doing crafting, and that's my hobby. So, um, in our crafting, we will make a fish. So, in the fish is this little fellow over here with that crazy little mouth. like the flippy things will have um you could put them on the you, you could take that or these small little flowers also are there you could use that i don't have them that's why i'm using these and you need only one eyeball and you need six popsicle sticks and you need double sided tape and a scissor and the wires you know the soft little wires thingy what well, has a wire and here fluffy fluffy things in here that thing and a cup of water um and some paint i love paint and a brush to paint with and you need that all gum and you need a paper or something on wherever you're making it. You need something there since you don't want it to get like very disgusting, messy, um, with the gum, really sticky, sticky, gooey, and the paint splatters all around. You don't want that since this crafting will be very fun. So let's get started. The first step is, I'll take three popsicle sticks. So my three popsicle sticks will be. And give a little bit space. Just like this. Look. And some, um, we will do like this. I put everything aside. And you have to give it a little space and then you will first step each two take these two and then take the fabric so we have to arrange it like this so basically three sticks over here and this right over here and there should be two little sticks left. So now I will take the fabrico gum and put one little dot over here. And one dot over here. And one dot over here. So now we have to put our hand over here. Take this popsicle stick and put it on the gum. Place it over here. As I said, it will stick over. It's sticking on my hands now. Mm -hmm. So now we did it. Now we will set up the mixing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a second. Um, look, I put two, six more dots, three over here, three over here, and put the other two on it. Now, the next step is to take this eyeball and. Okay. Guys, I just now checked. It's not a sticker, so I will take the fabric call gum and put one tinsy dot on and close my fabric box. 
and I'll take my fingers and spread it on. So guys, so guys, we have to wait until this dries. Since you know when we start painting, we don't want it to get the paint get really, really gooey. It more gooey since the paint is already gooey. You don't want it to get super gooey, um, like that it will stick on your all of your body. So you don't want that. So I'll see you guys after this. So. Dried up. I flipped it up and it's dried. So now let's move on to painting. So first, I will choose the color. It's the neon orange. This is the orange. We will use the orange. So I cleared up all of the place because the painting could be a little bit messy. So let's. Go ahead and open this. I need some help opening this. Um, I got a white. Um, and I got it open. So first, I will get this brush, wet a bit, and put it on the white. Bop, bop, bop. Smells like the white now. <laughs> so now, first from the back side, I will take. Here. Look how neon it's going So pretty. I love this color. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more water to spread it. This whole stick just needs this much. Just some water. So I'll see you guys after painting this whole thing. So guys, I will see you guys after painting this. Oh yeah. So guys, um, I finished painting this. I'm just cleaning up my brush since I don't want it to get dirty. And when after the one year, when I clean it, it will be very bad because it will be all dried and it will be so hard to get it off after one year. Because once I was painting and after that, I painted for one year and then when I painted, when I was going to wash it after one year, it was so messy, the color didn't even come off. That's weird, right? Mm, so, I did it. Now, I have to dry it. I guess it's dried. So, now we have to put the eye. Since if you make a fish without the eyes, it can't see anything. Well, bump into anything. So, there's the gum. So, guys, I'm putting the gum on. Gum on. So, i gum on. I said it in a different language in Hindi. The fish's eyes are on there. It looks so cute, right? Adorable. Just needs a mouth, or it can't say a lie. Since it has to say something. That's kind of weird. So, now I will take a put. The eyeball, it looks so cute. Just the mouth. The yellow color mouth. Since fishes are different colored. So the yellow color mouth. So we will fold it like this. And then we will take the scissors. And until we fold it, we want to cut it. So guys, it's so hard to twist it when I'm cutting. Mm -mm. So I twisted it. Now I have to stick this little fellow. Take the gum. 
and put a little light over here to get it stick, 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 stick. Mm -hmm. Since you know like the feathery things are a little bit hard to get stick. So guys, I am taking this off. Oh, I got two. <laughs> is finished. Now let's get stretched a little bit. Stretched. To know all of the facts about fishes. They survive in water. They swim in water. You know these things. So, but I have a little, little question. That was, but I have a question. But I have a question. That from one million years I'm thinking about. Um, that can fishes survive in milk and juice? So that's my question. Or swim and swim and live their lives. So comment down below the answer in the comments and subscribe, press the bell button and like. And next time with the answer and the next video see me next time with a great video and my